The Realme Buds Q. These are the basically budget earphones that Realme have released, but don't be fooled, they are apparently really, really good. So I'm gonna do my first impressions and a little unboxing on this Realme Buds Q that have just arrived. So these will be listed on ephones.com. Uh, I'll link them in the description below. They'll be linked for $29.99. So you can buy them right now. As soon as you see this video, you can buy them, they're listed. So yeah, let's, let's open these up. Ugh, I really like the Realme yellow color they've gone for with all their brand and I think even with something like this it looks absolutely awesome so I'm a big fan of their yellow so here is the little sort of package it comes in I'm just gonna pull these out for now um, we'll come back to them in a little bit we'll quickly go through what's inside the box so what have we got we've got you've got your realme buds Q quick start guide so all your information I'll have a look at that in a minute You've got your USB, this is a micro USB by the looks of it, charger. And you've got these little um, sort of ear tip adjusters. So you've got a big one here and two little ones. So I think, say, the size that the Buds Q come with doesn't fit your ear perfectly. You can have these little adjuster ones to fit your ear a little bit better. So here they are. Let's take this little bit of wrapping off. The Buds Q themselves. Now this case looks really sleek and really good. Uh, I imagine this will f this will fit pretty well in your pocket, um, and it won't be too noticeable. Fits perfectly. You wouldn't even be able to notice. So yeah, I think that looks good. For twenty nine ninety nine, I think that's a very high quality looking case. You've got a little bit of Realme branding here. These do come in black, yellow, and white. Um, right now on ephones.com, we do only have the black ones on the site currently, um, but hopefully the white and yellow ones will be coming soon. I can't wait to look at the yellow ones because I'm really excited for that colorway. As I said, I'm a big fan of the Realme yellow coloring. So we'll flip these open, and here they are. Oh, they've got a little bit of protective film on them. I'll just pop off, and this is it. These are the Realme Buds. Is the case magnetic? Let's have a little listen. It is, you can see. Pulls it towards it. It's magnetic. That's good, it means they won't come open accidentally. And the actual earbud hole themselves is also magnetic, so they will not fall out, as you can see. Maybe, I wonder how much shaking it needs for them to come out, oh, a fair amount. Now the fun part, how do they sound? So you've got the left one here and the right one here. They actually fit by the looks of it upwards into your ear, so sort of like up rather than what I would expect from the majority of um, earbuds, especially nowadays, they usually fit sort of this way up, sort of downwards, but it looks like these are gonna fit into your ear upwards, which I'm not too sure about. I'm not sure how that will feel. So I will give that a quick go and see how they fit. They seem to fit pretty good. Uh, I can't hear too much though, that is a note. They're working a little bit like uh, earplugs, so I'm not sure if I'm shouting right now. As you can see, they do fit upwards um, and they do fit really comfortably actually. I perhaps would change the tip size, but they do feel a little bit loose right now. Um, maybe I'll go a little bit smaller because I feel like that would fit my ear a little bit better. So yeah, let's do a sound test. Let's see how these sound. Now, I've got the Realme X3 Super Zoom here. And this is a phone that I did a quick unboxing with the other day on our main channel eFhones. So you'll be able to check that out. I'll link that in the description for you so you can have a look at that video. Um, we, off we do also do have a follow-up video coming out hopefully on the same day that you're seeing this. So if you're seeing this now, our follow-up video should also be out. If not, it'll be out in the next few days. We'll make sure to link that when that's there as well. It's more of an in-depth review on this. But yeah, I'll link these Buds Q to this phone just so we can see how they sound. So I'm gonna have a quick look at the quick start guide just because I'm not 100% sure how to connect them to be honest with you yet. So I've read that it should be pretty easy from what I've seen other people do. So I'll have a, a quick read. Um, I'm not sure if they have to be inside the case or not, so I'm just going to put them back inside as a precaution just to make sure they actually do. So, what it says is to download the Realme Link app from the Play Store. So, I'll quickly download that. 
Now I think you can just Bluetooth these if you don't want to um, download the Realme Link app, but from what I've heard, um, it works a little bit better with the Realme Link app, so I'm gonna give it a go. And for all the accessories, such as the watch and the band, they all use the Realme Link app anyway, so I might as well download it now while I'm on here. So, so here we go. It says to link a device. Now I want to link some earphones, and then it says a Realme Buds Q, which is what I'm using here. So I can click that, and it says put the earphones into the charging box, press and hold, press and hold for more than five seconds, and touch both areas of the earbuds. So let's give that a go. Next, allow. Oh, and I think that's them. Pair. Looks like they are connected. So, by the looks of it, on this app, you can set some sort of action. So, a double tap is pause and play, triple tap to next, next trap. Touch and hold is off, but you can set them. You can set game mode here, or turn off game mode. I'm not too sure what that does, but imagine that's for gaming. And yeah, so obviously it's the same for both right now, but you can change it to next track, previous chat, voice assistant, or just turn that action off if you don't want it. So there's actually quite a lot of functionality you get for uh, earphones that only cost $29.99. You can also see the charge here. So the right charge is 100% and the left charge is 100%. So yeah. That's enough of the app. Let's see how these things sound. Now, I want to be as honest as I possibly can be in this video, but this audio quality is actually pretty good. I would say as long as you get the seal around your actual ear properly with the right size actual tip, the audio quality is practically the same as any high-end um, earpiece I've used before. It sounds very similar to me quality-wise of the Freebuds 3, so I'm really impressed for the actual sound quality. The Obviously, the device itself doesn't feel like a Freebuds 3. The Freebuds 3 is really high-quality plastic and some other incredible features on them but just based off sound quality these sound really crisp and this is sort of very much impressed me um, as is typical for Realme they always seem to blow out the park a little bit with what they can do for such a little price the bass is a bit shallow uh, I wouldn't say there's an incredible amount of bass but I mean what can you really expect from a, a little earpiece like this the bass isn't going to be great especially for the price range but I mean, just for a, like an earpiece, just to use running around on a run, I don't think these would fall out on a run. I would like to test that, so maybe that's a, something we can do. Um, but moving around, day-to-day -day work, doing stuff, I think this is a really, really viable option. And for the tiny price um, that they cost, that is a super, super impressive earbud there. So yeah, the Realme Buds Q, very impressive sound-wise. As I said, bass is low, is shallow, but overall sound quality, yeah, it's pretty much there. And obviously, as something that I just mentioned, it does have this gaming mode, uh, and you can see here it says touch and hold both earbuds for two seconds. So, what I'm gonna do is do a little bit of gaming with in game mode and with it without and see the difference it makes. So, let's activate that now. And when you put it into game mode, it makes sort of like a car powering up sound. Uh, I'm not too sure what the reason was behind, but I guess racing games. And if you take it back out again, uh, you can hear sort of like guitar strings is the only way I can describe it. I guess that's back to normal music mode. But yeah, we'll pop it into gaming mode and I'll play a little bit of games and see what the difference is. We'll start with it in gaming mode. I'm gonna turn the volume the whole way up. Uh, hopefully not damage my ears, just so I can really hear the difference.
And that's actually really interesting. The main difference, I would say, is not really in the sound. I would say the main difference between these Realme Buds Q uh, in the game mode and the normal mode is actually the delay on the sound. So in the normal mode, when I assume you'd be listening to music and things, I imagine that uses a lot less power, so these can have a really long battery life, because in the actual gaming mode that I was just using, they seem to have like instant response time like you would expect from a pair of headphones. So when I was, for example, shooting that gun in that Call of Duty I was just playing, the sound would be instant, but when I put it into the sort of music mode, the sound was slightly behind. So that's really interesting. I didn't expect that to be the actual effect. The sound quality really wasn't any different. The only major difference for me was the actual delay. So. I guess that's very interesting. I uh, imagine that's so that gaming experience is a little bit better overall, but I didn't know that. But yeah, as a first look at these uh, Realme Buds Q, they are incredibly good actually for the price. Uh, obviously, the quality isn't 100% there build-wise, especially when you see compare them to things like Free Buds, but the problem with that is you can't really compare them. Something that costs over £100 compared to something that costs under £30. It, there's not really a comparison there. But for what I expected from these, these are blown out of the park really. They've got great range of audio and they've also got that cool gaming mode that I didn't know they would come with. And also they still have all the gestures and all the tapping things you can do, all the feedback. So overall, a very, very good pair of, of earphones if you're just looking for them in a workspace or just do your running or things like that that you don't really want to particularly worry about because you know it's a worryless purchase. 29.99 we'll have them listed down below as i said on ephones.com they are up there now for 29.99 so you can get them right now um, but yeah as a first impressions and unboxing they're a good product and yeah thank you guys very much for watching like and comment comment anything you want to see us do in a future video that we will do more realme accessories as we've got the watch and the band now uh, as well as the x3 super zoom as i was using this in this video we have done some videos on that as well which you can check out linked in the description below i will be using these for the rest of the week so we're going to do another video sort of an update for me to show you how i feel after a week of usage how i feel about the battery life the overall audio quality after a whole week use and i'm going to use them for some physical activity as well just so i can see how they actually work and if they fall out my ear or anything. So thanks for watching, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.